Cody. Cody and the KO fucking day, Cody. All I hear is Will going. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Will, Will, <laughs> Will, <laughs> Will. <laughs> All I hear is Will going from over there. <laughs> Does it sound like that? Yes. <laughs> I love it. I'll show you the meme that we said. Rocket. They're going to hit that thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That's really fast, right? <laughs> Did it almost just hit that? What the fuck is that? Some UFOs going on? What is that? It's a UFO sighting outside the H2O residence. <laughs> it looks cool that time. Like, oh. You're like, what the fuck is that? Right as shit. It's not a star. It's not a meteor because they don't travel like that. It's oh fuck! Did you see the UFO? You got to go help her. Pull that. Pull that away. Ah, uh, Christ! God damn it! It's done. I said before, don't put it under the grill under there. All right. So I don't think that was a UFO. I mean, it's unidentified flying object, but. It was like a plane, I think, and all of a sudden they shut their jets off. Some kind of fucking jet or something. <laughs> Ooh, man. And stop putting that goddamn grill under that tarp. Damn kids. You goddamn students. Stop putting the burgers in the freezer. Take them out ahead of time. That's why it does that flame thing, man. The water dripping down in there, man. Come on, man. Chris, you should fuck your kids up. What's going on everyone? Today is Saturday, September 24, 2022. Once again at the HO Wrestling Center. Tonight we're here for H2O Hustle Mania 5, man. Five of these, baby. I, I believe I've been to all five, man. Uh, but the show's about to start. I'm not going to go over to Card or anything. Maybe I can get Louie to do that later. We'll add this in here. But uh, I don't know. I want to get in there and see this, man, because it looks like about to open up with a banger here. So let's get in there.
everybody. Hey, excuse to play. me, I was talking to you. I was talking to you. Oh, I gotta laugh earlier, but now I don't. Excuse me. Never mind. It's tablet time or phone time. Don't interrupt my phone right, we'll, time. We'll take care of your mama, okay? Oh wow. Ooh. Daddy, you tell him be extra nice to him. He's Chucks over here? <laughs> yes. I have never seen. That's amazing. That is. That's, that's, that's genius. Creative. Oh that's very good. That's good. It's good. I never seen. Anything I've like never that. seen that before. It makes me want to take old broken mouses and make a weapon at home and do that. That'd be awesome. Just walk down the street with like a mouse mask on, like. Whoa. Go to the neighbor's house, whoa, 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 swinging around these little mouse numb chucks with a mouse rat mask on. <laughs> Sorry, not my best time. There's a lot of people here, and I'm trying to get out of the way of everybody. There's a good 150 people here. Right?
Thing, dude. It was good. It was fun. As you can see, the fellow photographer here, Chris Grasso, has a haircut. 
<laughs> Wait, did you put buzz? Oh, do you shave the sides too? Oh, oh, you want next level shit. It might be a little influence from your wifey because she done that. Yeah, yeah, she did it. Yes, yes. it looks good, dude. Free haircuts. No, free haircuts. To the people I don't know, I fucking bladed my fucking hair. Just to make it look good. Yeah, yeah, well, you, we can see it. I bladed, I bladed my nose, the bridge of my nose. Oh, fuck, Louie. Look at my face, is swollen. You forgot the rat. I kept telling you the rat. So keep it. It's a fucking rat. Wait. It's all good. It's all good. Like, put it in your mouth, I think. You should put the gusset as you put it on her, though. Stand right here. How do you feel? Give me a second. Wait, wait, your butt was hanging out? His ass was hanging out. Nah, it's not the first the, time. The crescent so pissed. Mood. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you <laughs> the, the crescent mood. <laughs> Look at your sister. Because he she, grabbed me, but he Junior's pulled my pants down. Full view of everybody. Because he grabbed me and pulled down. I was like, no. <laughs> it's all right. On these vlogs, we've seen that butt crack before. We've seen my butt crack too. Who cares? Oh, my head. Got Absolutely. I'm so mad though, I forgot the gusset wrap. So, so, yeah. Oh, you can broke. use that for something. <laughs> save it, save it, man. Gusset wrap broke. I think they saved the piece of the big. It doesn't matter. Oh, you don't need it? You know what I was thinking too when you guys were gonna. Go oh man. When you were gonna do the match, I was like, man, I, I kept thinking about don't the. Cry. Oh, I know. Shit, I think we got the name. Oh, I'm dizzy. Woo! Yeah. I told you I was gonna go all out. Um, yeah, no, he, he, he does all my shit. Um, my wife's aunt, Susan, passed away a couple of weeks ago on the 8th of September. Wonderful person. I've known her for 19 years, and uh, it, it's just a horrible loss at 60 years old. Uh, you know, cancer sucks. I lost my grandmother to cancer on my mother's side. I've lost friends to cancer. My wife lost her aunt to cancer now, so... Um, no, no, no. You know, I dedicated I dedicated this one to her, and I told my wife, I said, I didn't tell her why I was going to go all out, but I dedicated it to her. And then with Susan, they called it, my kids called it to you do, so I, I dedicated this one to her. And, you know, when I when I do a match with somebody, I go all the fuck out, and obviously you can see that. And you can see that in the match, the, the bloodshed, the violence. And the way that I was just bumping and taking my shit, it was just, it was, it was, it was a match. You know, when you dedicate a match to somebody that's no longer here, it means something. I've dedicated matches to a lot of brothers that have fallen, and and you know what? Like, I, I'm sure she's watching. So respect, and you know, I, I know my wife appreciates that. Just for you to do that, that's why you and Angela do so well, because you guys have that bond. You you care well, for what each other, and, and, how you and her feel, and her aunt was a good know. person and treated me. Yeah, like that as well, of course. You know, like, you know, yeah, yeah. Right. She's a bridesmaid. So yeah, every big part of your life, family yeah, is yeah, everything, yeah. man. Family's everything, yeah. It so, is, man. And I try to hold that down in wrestling and everything else. And I'm a little mad that Gus and Rat didn't get used, but I think that the match, the match stands up for itself for what it was worth. It was yeah. very entertaining. I enjoyed it, man. I'm happy that it came off like that because, like I said, when you're dedicating a match to somebody, it's like you want to make sure that it it, 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 it it delivers. And I tried to deliver, so um, I hope that it did. And, uh, that's all I gotta say, brother. Thank you. I love you, Louie. I love the Rainbow family, you. man. I love everything that you Are do. Are you okay with hugging him with all the blood on him? I don't know, Mama. I know she don't give a shit. You know, I know she wants to. Listen, right she now. put up she put up with having two of my kids, so you tell me. Yeah, then she puts up with you, man, watching you do this shit, man. That would break my heart to see fucking someone I love doing this all the time. Nah, I love this. This is we this know, we know. And she's okay with her boy doing mouse, it too, so I love mouse, it, man. Mouse uh, rematch in a cage. Yeah, yes, mouse, Yo, mouse mouse cage, man, mouse, mouse trap type. Mouse shit. came in and put in work. Yes, he did, man. He he's well, certainly he certainly Change for the better here, man. He's tough. Work. He's a tough little fucker, man. Just put in work, and uh, I will look forward to uh, rematching him down the road. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> well, just keep an eye on him, man, because he's a crazy fuck, man. Keep keep your family away from him, because you know, next thing you know, he's, he's gonna give my daughter rabies next. Yeah, he's gonna lock her in a cage or something, man. You gotta watch that motherfucker. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh, I know. She he's would about as big as he is. She would fuck him up more than you would, because I know I I get that bite oh, from her. She's like, kid? yeah. If she's anything like her brother too, but I feel like yeah, she's 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 worse. She's like yeah. Worse. Yo, well, because she's a woman. What women? Is, you guys are killers. No, hold All right, kid, give me pound. Take care of your family. I think so. The VHS player. <laughs> Oh, 
toll. I think he's still upset about using, losing that title belt, man. Fucking Colby Carino. He's taking it out on everybody. He's about to ram that car down, man.
Come on, don't take that. Come on. Oh, nah. oh my God. Nah. I wish I was still dude, fat. Dude, you're looking lean, dude. You know what? I'm not doing anything, man. I'm just drinking. Chilling. Just drinking. Just drinking. Just drinking with Captain fucking Dave all the time. Captain Dave's been getting me. Captain Dave's been getting me fucked yeah, up lately. Yeah, dude, he's got a oh, wow. Bringing me to titty bar, hey. fucking jerk off clubs, all that crap. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is a fucking crazy right here. Yeah, 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 just you know, you don't see a lot of more, a uh, lot more of me this year. Not only H2O. CW, oh no hose boy, oh, and the what, team. What, what the fuck are you wearing here? No. Wait, what what up? Let's focus on the match here. Oh. oh, I got this for you, dog. <laughs> oh, I don't drink beer anymore. I, don't drink I beer. strictly oh, just yeah. drink whiskey now. That's why. Oh, whiskey, okay, okay. <laughs> That's, why. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm losing no the weight here. No more beer. Exactly. All that yeast will fuck you up. No more beer, a lot for the last CCW. <laughs> <laughs> you want a TOD? Just to document to see how it goes. It's, it's interesting. Just we're, we're with our cameras. Interesting. You know. If they end up. Okay. Captain Dave, Captain Dave, hey, you know I love you. It was only busting your balls. I love you, buddy. I love you very much, bud. I hate Brophy. <laughs> Anti Brophy, what's that new shirt you're sporting there? Okay, look at it. Ooh, the new H2O shirt. Ooh, looks good, man. Where we're at, hustle me. Come on, Ross, don't put up with that shit. Papa G! I know it's a uh, mid-matcher, but I am very impressed with Chris Bradley and Christian Ross with them boss and hey, 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 fought each other. Hey, it's available hey, on IDB TV. Get on there. Get on that stuff, hey, man. They're killing it. They're killing it. They went from doing like death matches like once a month at that to like, I don't know, two a week. I, I love it. You guys are killing it, man. Keep going. Please. Cheers. And I'm not sure if this is a death match because there's anti-hardcore here. But according to Papa Giorgio. We're having fun here. We're loving life. We're loving life, baby. Yeah, fuck you, Papa Giorgio, you asshole. <laughs> fuck you, Papa G. <laughs> oh, headbutt to the ass of the butt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Papa, whoa, whoa. Papa G's being a fucking nerd. He pulled all the weapons out. Yeah. What up, son? You having a good time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, every time you're here, we have a good time, right? Every time. It's H2O. Exactly. the most fun to go to. Exactly, man. Come on, Casey, don't put up with that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, Casey! Yeah, Casey, that's how you do it. Oh, shit. He's gonna clean This bullshit. We're not used I know, to right? anti weaponry here. What is that shit? This is not fucking Stanford, Connecticut. What the fuck is going on here? Even Brandon Kirk behaved himself as he was standing next to you, and he didn't punch you in the face for once. They're friends now. <laughs> oh, you guys. We're, 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 we're frenemies. Okay, Let's get that right. We're frenemies. They've kissed. They have. Oh, that's cool. Yo, did you get it on video? Yeah, I have it on my Dropbox. Put it on Kids <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop, 
this up and Danny's gonna have a stroke over this. <laughs> Where's Rob Black as well? I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> oh God. Come on, KC! Yeah, Bradley. Yeah, Bradley. Yeah, Bradley. Step ladder. Another daddy. Let's go, Ross. Let's I clean used this one up. of those earlier to get a haircut. And to change a light bulb. I have one of the same ones at home. Yeah, Casey! Oh, come on. What is this shit? I don't know, but I think I'm going to come back over here and hang on. You guys are way, way more interesting. They're so video. boring. It, that, that side. Look at look at look at Brandon. Look at Brandon. Defending his wife. Oh That's yeah. Chivalry right there. Yeah. Married life. Yay. <laughs> hey, they represent ICW No Holds Bar, so I can't be against them. They represent what we love. Death Match Wrestling, baby. Yes, Death Match Wrestling. ICW. Man. H2O, good business, brother. That's right. Oh! 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 Yeah, come on, Ross. Suplex? Oh, oh, oh. Suplex the shit out of him. Come on. Oh. Stiff elbow. The spear! The spear! Yo, TJ. <laughs> Yo. On the streets, there'd be no way that these two would lose to Casey and Brandon. I'm sorry. Oh, no way. You guys are fucking massive from Philly. There's no, no way. way. <laughs> Except they like the Phillies, but that's a different story. Fuck the Phillies. I can't stand the Phillies. I'll get heat for saying this here, but let's go Mets. <laughs> Alright, now I'm done recording you. <laughs> Home season, baby. <laughs> I have drink in the piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go, Bradley! With a double cover, that might be it. There's a man in a hot dog suit that says, fuck these rules, I will agree with him. Time here. I'm gonna head out back. <laughs> Dude. Number one and I number two and number Louis. two. Yeah. yeah, that's what I just said. I was like, yo, Luke. Yeah, right. Oh, dude, like, your dick is about the hole. And honestly, you were one of the first guys that I saw yeah. my fiance brought me here. Oh, that's even better. Bloody fuck. Can, so, can I interrupt real quick? I'm sorry. Louis just talking about, you know, he, it's his pleasure to have all his, his face on there. But we oh, well, we know. But we need merchandise. No, we need merchandise. I just want to I just want to shoot like this. Like, when, when I Go see ahead, fans baby. like Joe, and I love Joe, I, Joe got my shirt. Yes. I love yeah. it. I got this motherfucker's shirt tonight. Only a handful of people got to shoot shirts. Man. 
Yeah. I love Joe with all my heart. I love, love anybody that, listen, anybody that's crazy enough to wear a shirt with my face on it and wear my ugly ass face on their body, <laughs> it's like, it, it not only like humbles me. And I have that like, shirt too, so it's great. like, it's like, oh, sorry, man. Good? to somebody like me that's giving his life for this, it's like, I did it and it meant something. And that's 100%. it, because that's that's that's. And you know, the, uh, the only two. I didn't one get it. Right I didn't get into this for money. I, I got into. We get you three together. I got into this, this to beat up Abdullah the Butcher, and I did. Yeah, Louis. Fucking love yeah. Louis. Louis is the go and the go see. We love Louis. Abby's the goat, and I love him to death. Yeah. You are a spitting image of him, though, man. You're the reincarnating. Well, not he's still here, but you know what I mean. Who? You know what I mean. Oh man, Let, let's uh, let's. Uh, wait, Lou, before I go, can, wait, wait, camera. Camera. can we get wait, can, can we get merchandise on. underwear? Wait, wait, hang on. Yeah, because you told me now. Hey, Johnny, damn it! That's all you're doing, one. You lied. Joey, did you find out where your asshole bleeding? I fucking x poc myself. <laughs> you know, you're not the first one, because Doug, he's like, dude, my ass, when he hit the feds, he started saying about, you're the second one tonight about your assholes, man. Your ass is bleeding. You good there, bro? You'll reach in there, man. Make sure you can still have kids, Joey. Let's see how many there are. One, two, two. three. Oh, you got okay. three down there. Oh, man, you are a spectacular man. <laughs> That's that Philly, oh, what are you drinking? <laughs> you know, it's, pick up my ass. it's all good, man. You got that Philly water. That gives you three testicles. More chances to have babies. I found the piece. Okay, dingleberries. Hold on. Ah, oh, man. Here it comes. Ah, here it comes, Joey. <laughs> You're gonna hate me for this. Actually, no, you don't give a fuck. <laughs> Here you go, Jess. Look at your beautiful heart. Oh, he picking his ass. Look at him go. Oh, yeah, what you got in there? <laughs> ah, get that shit. Oh, oh, is that glass? Wait, let me see the glass. Oh, he literally picked ass out of his asshole. Glass out of his asshole. Oh, he wasn't kidding, though. At least you were honest. Oh, I ripped my shorts. All right, Joey, pull your drawers up. Be a man. He literally picked a piece of glass out of his ass, though. He got it. Yeah, he, he wasn't kidding. It was down there. wasn't exciting to be that big, Dave. All right, so that was a little backstage bullshit stuff. I mean, nothing crazy. I don't want to put the camera light in people's faces as this shit's still flickering. I got to get this replaced. It's got duct tape all over his neck. Was like, Nick Gage, what the fuck is wrong with it? Second half of uh, <clears throat> HO Hustle Mania 5 is about to start. Or it is starting. I hear they already announced it. But I got to go piss in the woods first. I'm sorry, guys. Who's ever's in there? All right, before I piss in the woods out here, because I usually do something's in there sticking. Oh, it's a thumbtack, of course. That is poking into me. These things are so worn down, man. All right, let me get these out. I'm gonna go piss. Get these out of here. I'm sure, there's some in here, but they're not poking me. But yeah, man. Flip flops and that ain't no good. Flip flop weather is basically over, though. It's time for a uh, gray sweatpants weather, but I got gray jean shorts with it. What are the plants or the weeds? What is your opinions of the show tonight, sir? Hi. Why are you so tall? I don't remember you being this tall. When did you hit puberty? When did you get to be so giant? <laughs> I love you. I'll see you. <laughs> Yeah, ref, hold this stable. 
Michael. Massaging him and giving it. Now. Kings Row Wrestling, baby. Go follow Kings Row Wrestling on Instagram. Let me see the pin. Let me see the pin. Yeah, zoom in on that, baby. Thank you, Chief. Greatest pin in the world, baby. Shit is this? <laughs> Come on, Kennedy, fuck him up! We would have it anyway, jackass. Got the gusset plate. Is our friends. We love that. Absolutely. Yeah, you're goddamn right. The more blood, the better. You know. Right, man. <laughs> God with that hair. <laughs> I've never seen it down. And it looks good. I'm jealous. Yeah, Neil just sticks the gusset blade in his own head. No fucks given. I'm still here rooting for Kennedy. Look at this lion. Look at Chris's hair. It's a Roman god haircut. It is. <laughs> I remember you speak longer at one point.
Let's sip it. Hey, you want some of my drugs? No, let's sip it. It's very limey and lemony. It's basically like a uh, Long Island iced tea. Oh my god, strong as fuck. Yeah. Is that Evan Williams? Similar. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you'd be an Evan guy. It's a fancy blended whiskey from Canada. Oh. Called right. crap. Crown Royale. <laughs> it's shit. $16 a handle. I think I've seen your handles in your house. $16 a handle. They're delicious. I'm surprised I didn't, I didn't pick you up today. Yeah, I know. Me too. You didn't ask me. No, I, I, I was drinking before the show. I was getting haircuts with my kids. We're going to watch the Mayweather fight afterwards at my house if you'd like to come by. How stupid my aunts and fucking cousins are. Oh, there. stupid Aunt Kennedy. <laughs> I'm in the doghouse for fun. They're gonna fall on me. Oh!
Kneel! 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 Look at this crew. Look how much bigger he is compared to you. With the NWO shit on. Yo, what's up, man? Yo, I fucking love you guys. Yo, you look like you're too thin. You're tan and thin. You look great. You look Dude, the best I, you've I haven't exercised in almost two months. You look months. the best you've ever looked. Because you saw my appendix, which... which well, my appendix was blue, too. Yeah. And then I had to have the, the, the fibrillator thing. I can't lift my arm past here for another four weeks. I can't lift weights. I can't do shit. I forgot. I have my implantable defibrillator place with the wires, so I can't... It sucks. Uh, shit. So if, if, if I was doing it, then I'd be like looking at you all like, yeah, I'm fucking, look at me. I'd be like, we'll see it soon. Yeah, can you hold this? You want to drink it? Yeah. What is that? Um, is that um, lemon? It's that blended whiskey with lemon. Mm -hmm. It's basically like a, um, long, it's basically like a long island ice tea, but like more lemony, man. You know I love you too, man. I love you. I love you guys. I'm just glad to see all of So this, this will air after, but I want to be. Dude, that video's for like four years ago. Five years from now. Five years from now. Ten years. We're, we're not long dead. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm long dead. Oh, I'm going to go after this match. I'm going to be trying to go after this match. Good. He needs to get his ass full. I stood there and was like, cool. So, any time. No, no. Hey, sorry, I'm going to take potatoes and butter. Not mad at all. I'm about to give to you. Yo, I got a good surf. I got some tater tots. I got a good surf for you, motherfucker. The one that you came to my house or whatever yes, night was. It was me and Mick. What was up with the condoms and the fucking balloons and shit? They're still in my shit with food coloring. You left food coloring condoms and shit. And my kid's mother found them and she's like, she's like, what is this? I was like, why do you have condoms and balloons? It's food color. You know what it is? I'll tell you what that is. It is what only makes sense for this thing. It's how you do, the, how you hide the mist. You put it in a condom, tie it up, and then you break the. Well, you told me, like, you were just like, just hide these and we'll get back to them later. We'll get them later. And I was like, she found them. She's like, what is this? And I was like, I was like, oh, dude, it caused a whole lot I'm so sorry. He's not Full of shit. You ruined I, my marriage. She <laughs> 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 left. I left the condoms. Condoms are food color. Mikey Ripwreck learned that from Jerry. Yeah, that's what I thought. I kind of figured. No, I kind of figured out. If you tie it up real tight. We're breaking the pole, but you, you break the mist and like you hide her the rest of the past two and you break it and you miss it. Well, no, I kind of figured that's what it was. I kind of had the mentality figured out, but I was just like, just to have so to explain it to someone else. Just to have a female find go, what the fuck, fuck is this? For my wrestling friend here, it's for misting guys. I swear to God. I'm going to show her this. Like, here you go. Here's the whole argument you started for three days straight. And condoms and food colors. It's, it's as dumb as it sounds. It's a weird sex fetish that I made. Look at this. Look, gray sweatpants, though, it's gray yeah, jean shorts, bitch. Gray jean shorts, gray shorts in the fucking fall. Suck my forward. dick. Goodbye. <laughs> John, where you go? How much glass did you have in the asshole? You want to come see them? They're, they're pretty fucked. You want to? They're pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to turn the light on here, Joey. Because my light needs to be bright here. Joey's going to show me all that glass that was in his asshole. Or Declan. Sorry, Declan. Joey, Declan, Philly fucked, whatever the hell you are. He <laughs> said Ryan Red sucked it out of his mouth. Wait, what? What? Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Me, you were doing it. No. Yeah, you did. Yeah, no. You both. No. no. <laughs> Fuck you. Piece of shit. Wait, how much was in there? Wait, no. I, I know I got the one. Oh, oh. That was the second one I pulled. Oh, Wait, they were like in your butthole? Deal. They were in the fucking cheek. They were like an inch away oh, from my asshole. Good. Oh, man. No good. No good. Good thing you ain't a gay man at the bottom. Because then you'd be getting the glass like pushed in there harder. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't a vibe. But, yeah, but then again, you know what? You know what? The best part, you got a beautiful wife. She would have hooked it out of your butthole for you. She'd be like, she hey. Call, she just texted me and called me a fucking idiot. <laughs> hey, you fucking moron. You ruined your shorts. It's like, gee, thanks. My ass is, you know, kind of. Overflowing with blood. Say, so, hey, babe, shit. I gotta come home. I think there's some more glass in my she, asshole. Oh, she gonna kill you, bro. Oh, yeah, she going through. She, she, she tough. She just let me rot. That's all. Awesome. But to see, the reason why they work out is because I think he's more tougher than she is. She's a tough woman, but he's more tough than her. She's like a $2 steak. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what the dollar Wait, let's say a $12. Tougher than a $2 steak. <laughs> Meaner than a rattlesnake. Jess, we love you. Tough as shoe leather. <laughs> 
Man, I, man, I don't know what to say. I can't. I don't know how to relate to that. I'm so this fuck. You got any glass in your ass? You want me to help you pick it out? Because I would love to. Nah, nah. Okay, come glass. on, because I will help you pick it all out there. I'm pretty sure I don't have glass in the. Come on, ass. are you sure? One hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> Nah, I love you guys. I gotta get it. I gotta fucking blast. By the way, that was just that was so much fun. Tonight was just tonight in general. We still got we just got Mickey Knuckles and Matt Tremont about First to go. First time ever. Yeah, dude, that's gonna be some shit. I don't care. I just had a lot of fun. I love you guys. You kids are you guys are my favorite. All y'all, man. I love y'all, Chris. Fucking love you. You drag this motherfucker. Look at him. He's like, what's up? You still are you sure you don't have any glass, in the asshole? Cause I would love to pick it out there for you. Me and Chris will go digging. Delicious. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, we got Ken Cobra and Neil Diamond Cutter. You guys killed it, though. I love it. I feel like you guys very uh, go you go underappreciated here, but you think that in your head. I think sometimes you guys are so appreciated. You guys are fucking awesome, man. Fuck off out there. Yeah. No, you guys. No, yeah, but that's because they love you. Yeah. To t when they say fuck off, that's because they oh, love you. Well, that's toxic. Yeah, I know it is very toxic. Well, <laughs> wrestling it can be confused. It, it can be confusing in the real world when you go to the rig and it's just like character. This or what? What? <laughs> fuck off, Kennedy. I hope you die. <laughs> well, I mean, I <laughs> but we had Uncle Neil. And we had Aunt Kennedy going, so. Is that a new thing? Yeah, our yeah, aunt and uncle here. Yeah. We got our aunt and uncle here. Oh, am I the cool aunt? Oh, you are the cool aunt. No, she, she's no. the niece. The niece. Oh, yeah, we were, we're. We're not married. Well, we could this be is siblings. My, my niece. No. Okay. I'm cute. Oh, okay. Uncle and niece. Uncle, uncle and niece. <laughs> there we go. Confused again. Except, except for Chando. I'm his papa. So I'm apparently something to everybody. Ch yeah. Chando or Ch okay. Ch Chando? I have a son Chando. here, I have a grandson here, and I have a sugar baby here. So, like, you know. Oh, and you got a sugar daddy here, baby. No, I got a sugar baby. I'm the sugar daddy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But anyway. Hey, TMI. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> but I just love you guys to death. And I think everybody was a very impressed. We just love you guys as, as people, man. You guys are here beat your so, you guys are beat your bodies up for our We're fucking entertainment. I, I don't know how her, ourselves up. I don't know how, how do you her not enjoy still going for carrying not. me. Oh. So yeah, her back's gotta be hurting for carrying my ass. And by the way, Sorry, also Gary. her being a huge animal lover and supporter and savior, I, I just a follower on. It's my one good I love that about you. I love that about you. That is the best. That not your best part about you, but it's beautiful. Oh no, it is the best part. No, there's way better parts. Come on, please. You're 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 a genuine good person. You're such a sweetheart. Come on. And this man with his his, his beautiful heart here, he's a good man too. Both you guys, dude. So don't. Don't ever doubt your fucking selves. I love you guys to death. Hold well, on, I'll give you a check after this. No, I'm. I have a dollar bill. Like I don't need any. I, I took it. I'm sorry. Hey, I take. Uh, my currency is just. Uh, <laughs> is love hugs. I love you guys. You guys are fucking awesome, dude. Seriously, I mean it, man. You guys are fucking great. I love you guys so much. I don't give a shit. You know how much blood has been spilled all over me. Just I'll give you a little. I love you guys so much, man. And I mean it. Don't ever underestimate you, motherfuckers. Like, stop. Just. I, I, I'm feeling reading lectures. Can we? Can we have? Can we get? Can we find all the homeless cats out here? Because there's so many. Out oh, here. Sorry, we don't say that. Don't fucking say that. Well, can I? I can I tell you a story real Why quick. Why would you say that? I'm sorry, but they're they're good though. But like, uh, I was they're in my fine. garage the other day, and I was watching a match of yours recently from one of the HO shows from I don't know, it was like six months ago or something like that. And I kept thinking about you. There was a the dog. There's a fucking pit bull. It goes into my garage and it starts licking my leg. I was like, oh, and it's on video. I'm like, I'm like, oh, what is? Oh, hey, buddy, what's going on? Like the little rascal pit bull with just like. A small one but he didn't have like the actual no i was trying to shut him in the garage but i don't want to freak him out when that sound hits yeah. called the cops and then to, to try to find out his owner he didn't have a leash on him or anything like so i knew his owner was okay he just got out of his yard and then i get a call from the cops the local cops so they're just like yeah the owner gave up he's just like he'll eventually come back to the yard I was like, okay, is that how it is? And so I woke up the next day and I was watching, uh, what's it, Billy Madison. And there's that one scene where he's like, you don't just leave your dog in there. You go out there and you that? find that There's fucking dog. So I made a story about it. The dude saw it. He's like, wait, is that a, a situation of me? Because I mean, I was like, yes. I was like, thank you, it is. I was like, you literally let your dog. Did you find it yet? No. I was like, 
fuck you. I was like, you, you're an owner, and it's your fucking dog. You get out there, you don't just give up after an hour. You go out there, and you find that fucking dog, dude. I wish it was off. At least it ended. The dog's back now. He's fine. Oh, yeah. He's like 10 years old. 10 year old pit bull. He's cute. I don't know where this is coming from. Anyway, I just, I'm just saying. Are you going to let this happen? Thank you. Come on. Heel. What is happening? You might want to get this. Yeah, what is this crap? But anyway, oh. heal in the face. We love you to death. So, oh, yeah. Don't ever doubt yourself. Okay. Come on. I know it's tough. Okay. I doubt myself all the time. Fuck this guy. Ter Terrence he a pimp. I'm get out of here, pimp. We ain't got time. Look at this. He pimping drinks. This? Oh, he like drink my purple. What is that shit? What is a secret? What is that? What is a secret purple drink here? I'm curious. Jamaican me happy. Jamaican me happy. It's not mine. Yo, that I'm sounds. Just it out. That sounds like Jamaican me happy. That's what it is. I love you, buddy. I love you too. I love you. All right, let's get out here. We gotta get the main event going. Yeah. Any second round? Hey, let's get a picture. Here, I'll take a Do you want picture first? Yeah, go to the Superman, you good? Yeah, I'm good, man. Uh, Rocket. Look at that steam coming off your body with that cold air, man. Rocket, you want to take a picture and send it to me? Of course, brother. On my back. A night bleeding that much. How many more matches we got left? Yeah, that was really good. For that? After this, we get, no, I'm saying after this, the oh. Tonight Show. I know you got plenty. You got thousands left in you. No, I, you're I, young uh, as shit, dude. You're young, you're strong. You ain't going anywhere. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. As far as matches, the next one goes. I think it's what, the Monday show? Yeah, Monday show. Uh, when is that one? Oh, is that the uh, H2O? Uh, oh, uh, oh, against Stretch. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> We've been talking about that for a minute. Oh. We'll see what happens. Is it that high quality H2O? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, that's that's the one I'm thinking about. <laughs> the one that Matt Evans is to get some H2O, high quality H2O. And I'm the wa 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 water boy. I got a wooden spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the water boy. <laughs> Yeah. Somebody should do a they spot right like I'm the water boy to get tackled into a door. <laughs> 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 oh dude. I love you guys. I gotta get out there and figure out this game, man. How you doing, son? I'm doing all right, man. I know I don't keep up with you, man. Yeah. I try to, man. I try to. I got a lot going on, you know, hey, but man, I love you. I'm living you. the dream, man. You are. That's what I said. I I, I said to Rock, I said, you are living the dream here, man. Yeah, man. Fucking, we just pulling up. Duncan Rock, I said to all y'all, you guys are living the dream. I said to Matt, Matt. I mean, Matt, Matt's living the dream, and Matt's got a tough time holding this place down with yes, all you he motherfuckers. Does, man, you, all, man. you got a lot of little shithead kids, man. Fuck yeah, we do, man. But you guys are good kids, man. You're holding Fuck it down. Appreciate Just it. do whatever you guys can for him and for yourselves at the same time, man. Fuck yeah, TJ. Hmm. You're the fucking man. I love Thanks, you, kid. I love you too, man. I love you. I'm going to go catch this baby because I really want to see Mickey and, and Matt. Uh -huh, that's gonna be I'm pretty sure it's up next. Yeah, it is up next. Okay, I'll get the fuck out. Yeah. Right, no offense, but fuck you. I'll get out. <laughs> Oh shit, shit's about to go down. Are you good? Oh, you're not bleeding. Oh, Schlack. Yo, Schlack, watch, Slack's over there. No, I'm, I'm serious. Slack's right there. He's sitting right there. He's got Rob Black with him too. He's about to fuck you up. Fuck. <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> Mickey Knuckles. Mickey Knuckles.
introducing first, she is the man from Nantucket. Yeah. Who walking episode of Cops. The hardcore godmother, the queen of death matches, your favorite and the great. meaning I was getting my shot to try to get in that circle to get my roses. I love you. Aww. Aww. And that is why it's going to be so great after we beat the shit out of each other at every inch of this fucking building. Yeah! To have a beer with somebody I love and respect and I know Things get broken, we're still fucking family. Yeah! Yes! Oh, Matt's on fire! Matt's not on fire! I say a lot of shit when I'm drinking it hot. <laughs> <laughs> now we're ready for some violence! Yeah! Make each other bleed! Get it out! This entire day has been for you. Punch! You are a veteran that never got her fucking due, and now we're gonna fucking Damn dance. Damn fucking right. Mickey fucking knuckles. Damn fucking right, Damn fucking way for people like me. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
man. Serving chairs quicker than a fucking fly on shit. <laughs> and I love it, Dave. Thank I love you. it. I know. <laughs> I mean, I mean it though, man. The fans out here were dedicated. Captain Dave just threw a chair down there, there, like quicker than flies on shit. I don't know how quicker anything can be. What? Yeah. Love this, you fucking you up, man. Love hate. Actually hit him. Oh. Oh. Too much weight in the back. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Mickey! She's a nice lady. What? Hey, say hi. Hi. Pound? Hi. Town. Pound. Pound town. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Love you guys. Yes. Love you. Perfect. Hey. That was perfect. That's what I said to my son. Pound town. Yeah. Why did you even say birthday? Yeah. Oh, so it's oh, happy birthday, buddy. Oh. I have a son. He's six and seven. I got two of them. Oh. Watch it. This is going to be fun. We got to lock up. Oh, oh, we got to watch out. We got to watch out. Oh! 
disgusting play pressure. Oh my god. Oh, Gus is played to the, to the chest. Nikki. We have a funny little one with fucking one. Yeah, balls, two. Thank you, appreciate it. 
Can I sit in your seat? Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you letting me sit in your seat. Thank you. What's your name? Michael. Do you want to do this one day? Maybe. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. Do yourself a favor and your parents a favor and say no. <laughs> you can manage people though. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Do what you want to do, buddy. <laughs> but this is tough, isn't it? It's tough. This isn't easy. Oh, man.
officer. Oh no, this bitch. Oh, it looks, it looks like my words of inspiration to talk with her and make her feel better just didn't work. She's out here trying to fuck with Matt again. I will still always love her, but she's going through a lot of shit right now. She's taking it out on everybody else around her. God damn it, Kennedy. Come on, man. This one, we got Gary here. I'm gonna walk away. Let Gary do something else. Did you have fun, buddy? Yeah. Can you get a pound? Pound, guys. This was fun, right? Yeah, Thanks, Dad. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, you like Watch. Wait, it's still going. It's still going. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, there's something going on in the ring now with Kennedy and some child out there, and the whole thing went down. So I gotta go out back real quick. But, you know. Damn. I have no idea what it was, but I felt Kennedy, you're miserable, man. And I, I feel bad for you, and I love you, but fuck. Oh. All right, Mickey Knuckles just had a banging match with the bulldozer, Matt Tremont. She just got inducted to the Hall of Fame at the HRS and She had, you had so many ideas about that, right? <laughs> fuck you all. <laughs> We love you and we appreciate you. Y'all some dicks. Hey, well that wasn't. No, it threw me business. off. Y'all did that shit on purpose. That's what the bulldozer's idea. Nobody else's idea, because he loves and appreciates you, and you deserve that. Made me that. feel bad as I'm hitting him. Like, okay, don't feel bad. Got to grab your nuts and go, Bo. No. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I can't believe y'all did that though. I, I don't deserve well, that. Well, Mickey, how long you been in this game for, man? I remember seeing you the first time at the Queen of Death match shit. Like yeah, a DVD, they made that man. because he kept begging to be in King. You, you were the one of the toughest girls around. And just real talk, me, you, and all bullshit out here. You talk to me for like 20 minutes of time on here. You're a very laid back young lady, and you're fucking awesome, dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, you're cool as shit. And I know it was me, and you were like, shh. And I was like, that was me yelling like, hey, Mickey. I was like, I'm sorry. Because I get hyped about it. I know, but I, love, I gotta man. try to I, fuck I this guy that I know I'm gonna I have know, to kill to do something. Well, anytime I push it, just say TJ, or it's TJ. Say TJ, shut the fuck up. It's all TJ's out there. Shut up, TJ. You stupid fuck. I'm gonna make a t shirt now. Says, shut up, TJ. <laughs> We love you, Mickey, and we appreciate you coming here and doing this for us. And you have... Because <laughs> we all have our, our personal lives, man, and you holding it down here, coming around here, we love you, man. You keep doing this. Please keep coming around as much as fucking goddamn possible. Uh... Because you're tough as shit. I, <laughs> I, de I definitely didn't deserve it, and I oh, didn't feel like I deserved it, yet. and um, I'm very honored and humbled. That's um, his humble kind. You deserve it. You Hopefully deserve I, learn, it. I live up to it. You know, if we ever wrestle one-on-one -on -one again, I can't afford a banner. I'm going to get you the shit out of a bunch of Applebee's gift cards, just so you don't hit me that hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the best hey, thing to just cut off after fucking, 9 p.m. Your fucking head is so fucking dense. Like, yep, it hit me, and it felt like somebody was taking a sledgehammer. No, I fucking don't. I've never shoot headbutt. I never, no, but I didn't. I didn't think it'd be like that. Like I've headbutted a lot of people. I headbutted Chico Scorpio. I've had a button Necro. I've had button Ian. I've had button fucking Axel. I've had button a lot of fucking motherfuckers. Shit. Well, they didn't have the, the first time I got it, I was like, okay, am I gonna keep? Yep, I'm, I'm a dumbass. I'm gonna keep fucking hitting. I'm gonna do it. Why not? I'm here. Matt was talking Jesus. to me. This was like six months ago. I was like, I love all the times we wrestle, Charlie. We ever do shoot headbutts? Like, no, but I'm keeping it that way. <laughs> and I'll fucking headbutt a wall. No, I just. Like I but I don't want to like hit the flux capacitor on, head, on his head and go back like in time. Did you say the flux capacitor? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then like all of a sudden I do and I was like, fuck, now I'm leaping from life to life like Sam. And you were in a different, right different time, time. Listen, time I'm life. 35 years old and I love Quantum Leap. <laughs> Well, Mickey, anyway, I'm gonna cut this off as you're getting cleaned up, as I know you're. As you got these beautiful ladies here cleaning you up. Um, would you like a drink? You were like, hey, if you don't have a drink right there, I, dude, I got a whole cool, I got a whole bar in my goddamn cool. You know what? As, as, as awesome as this was, now I get to get into get home mode because I've got two beautiful kids at home. Um, I know you do. I'm, yeah. I'm a friend with and you on Facebook, and I see, you, man. You're, you're, I'm driving 12 hours just to be with you. You're a beautiful mama. You take care of those ba babies, man. You keep Guys, doing it, man. That's the most important part, man. And you get to do this on the side, and I know it's hard for you to do. We all know it is. That's what I mean. When I, I see would, fans say shit and say other crap, it's like, shut the so fuck here's, up, here's man. my thing with that. Who's to say I don't agree with you? I think I'm terrible, and, and I oh, get it. Oh, don't ever but say that. But at the same time, if you like me, I'm always going to try my best to make you all happy in one way or another. And then when y'all stop liking me, guess what? I'll go away. Don't worry about it. Well, the thing, Mick, Mick, what I learned is like, the kids, 
don't need you to be perfect. They just need you to be there. That's all they really need, and you are. So that's it, man. I'm Aunt Mickey. That's right, girl. You're, you're killing it, and I fucking love you and appreciate you, man. You, you keep doing it. When you're done, get Matt. Are you asking if he's okay? Yeah. Should I ask him too on yeah, camera? Yeah, go ahead and ask him. Hey, Matt, 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 Matt. Mickey wants to know, are you okay? All good. All good. I'm sorry. 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 I'm
Um, but I remember getting videos online, trading tapes, and one of the ones was Queen of the Deathmatch, and it was her. I was like, holy crap, who is this girl? A younger version, oh my god, this girl was like brutal. She was tough as fucking nails, dude. To, to even think all the shit that she's fucking gone through in her career is, is crazy how she's the good person that she is wholeheartedly, absolutely. Like, she's, she's true, she's honest, she cares. Uh, one of the one of the very few people in uh, in this in this business I can call a, a best friend, and that's that that's something that I appreciate and I cherish. Can you take so. us back to a time? I'm sure you made me. Do you remember the very first time you and her met? Um, I met her back in 2014. Uh, it was at a place in Southern Indiana that I won't name. It's fine. You can name uh, IW Bits Out. Was it IW Bits Out? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. You know. She 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 came back after after all that stuff and. Uh, you know, it was, she started, it started then. Uh, she was talking to me, she knew I was going through. Father passed away not too long before that. And uh, she was like one of the very, very few people who kind of helped me get out that rut in that moment in that time in my life, so. What's I mean, it's like a lot of fans they forget about. It's like, I'm sorry as I try to turn the slate back on here. Good. It's like they forget that everybody has personal lives too. It's like, we all do, man. I mean, not me, like you guys do. It's hard. It's like I, I, at times when I'm sitting there watching this, I'm having some drinks, I'm in that vibe, and I just want everybody to go out there and start pounding Like, we appreciate the fuck. I want everybody at the end of a match. It's like, we appreciate the fuck out of you. Like, literally, I want people to bow at the fuck around because you guys destroy your bodies for our entertainment. Dude. How do you not appreciate that? I was like, the ancient Romans, like, I'm a big, like, uh, history buff. I was like, that was, like, the big entertainment. But, like, people were killing each other. We don't have to kill each other now. Just do it to the point where it's, like, almost there. But it's so beautiful. It's it's poetry, emotion. It's a beautiful. You you guys have to understand too that it's it's a uh, we appreciate you you guys even more because even though we go through shit in our real lives and we're 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 doing whatever and we've been through the shit, um, if it wasn't for you guys, just uplifting us and giving us the the energy and like the the positive mental attitude that you guys do. I mean, Sorry, can I film this child real quick? Know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're interfering with our interview! The devil! Get out of here! You better run, boy! Alright, back to you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> to me, it's fun. That, that's, that's the good times. There's the good children that we bring up into this industry. Oh, <laughs> it's just like yeah. It just goes to show that, honestly, I know this is butchered by a lot of people, but honestly, if it wasn't for you, there would be no wrestling. So... Honestly, thank you, y'all. That, that's that's all I have to say to any one of you guys is thank you, truly. That's what I mean, and we needed to show more gratitude oh, yeah. and appreciation fuck for you guys. Yeah, and when, when I just saw Kennedy and uh, Neil in there, I was just like, I know on social media we all we all are open of our lives. It's a tough world to live in today with the financial situation. Like, the system is not balanced. It's tough. We're all struggling financially. It sucks. And I see you guys going in for $60 a, a match. It's tough, man. Like, and I know you do it because of the love of it. And you come around, you do it. But, it, I mean... It sucks. It's fucking tough. Like, and we're all just struggling, and we just want love for all you. And I, that's what I'm saying. I appreciate the fuck out of you too, because you guys take away all my stress and nonsense that I go through through the through the week with my kids, my two autistic kids. And I come here, and I'm just like, man, I get to let loose, get drunk, watch people just fuck each other. But I don't just go like I just want to see it beat each other. I, I care about you guys. I don't want to see it really get hurt, but I want to see you get to the point where you, you make each other bleed, make it the art form. Spread blood on those canvases when I wish I had money to have more, but like I just I love it. You guys are fucking beautiful to me. You I guys mean, are my people, man. I fucking adore you. Even even if we don't shed the blood, the the story that we try to convey to everyone that's that's in attendance is is even more uh, rewarding for us. Uh, let alone what you guys are going through, because you know I, I know how it is with mental health. That a lot of people don't want to get up. That's and, what I mean. We just know, get by out of bed. We you, guys, just, you guys come to yeah. these shows and you guys sit there for Christ however many like, fucking hours. If, if it's if it's somewhere down in Southern Indiana, you sit there for a good eight hours until you go home. But you got you guys sit through a lot of shit. Well, just like what we're go going through, through now with marijuana. It's just like uh, we're just trying to take care of our mental health, and it's like oh, people are like, you can't smoke weed. Like, are you kidding me? Like, uh, what what is? Who are the people in control of this world today? It's it's terrifying, man. Everyone will have their perspectives on life and yeah. what they perceive things to be, and that's that's beautiful. Uh, I I'm not gonna say I love it, but I'm a big advocate for mental health, and I want everyone to have a healthier mental mindset. And if that means that you know some nights you may have to take a hit on on something, you know, do it. 
because ultimately you're going to be doing the work yourself. It comes down to it. But for the most part, you just simply need somebody to lift you up until you're doing exactly. a great job. You're yep. killing it, man. And and I'm not just saying it for that because I mean it to you. Like, I yeah. do. I appreciate you. I've been watching. I remember watching it, Game Changer Wrestling, the back of wrestling show, and you're the, the jackass that's about wrestling, your ass is out, and you know, you're just coming out. I was like, I had the drone up in there, and I was like trying to get shot. This like, how do I shoot this? I, <laughs> I, I tend to do dumb shit. But or you're having Jack, fun. Jack it's, it's about having fun, exactly. man. And you're enjoying yourself. I, I think I think what everyone needs to come out of this is that no matter what anyone's going through in this life, and this is how I, I kind of want to end it on, on this because this 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 means a lot. So if you don't, if you don't mind. Uh, and, uh, so everyone's mental mindsets matters, especially to us. Um, we all know everyone goes through shit. We're all human beings. We all have our different parts in life that has affected us and has uh, essentially kind of brought everyone down mentally. We just came out of a crazy time in our life with the coronavirus and all that stuff. I mean, and it, being stuck up in the house for however many months and all that shit, that's not good. But if anyone is ever having any sort of trouble mentally, please go seek help. It will help you. I've been through the shit. I know exactly how it is. Uh, I've lived through it. You know, I'm not gonna get too deep on it, but there's been a lot of shit that's been going on in my life that I've tried to go seek help over and, and get the help I need. And having that 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 friendship and that camaraderie with not only the fans but to some of the boys in the back, not to give uh, 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 stuff behind the scenes, but it, we all need to uplift each other. We all need to be there for one another because I'm tired of seeing um, best friends in, in this industry uh, sadly leave our our lives and leave the situation that they're in. And um, so we all need to be there. We all need to have each other's backs because if we don't, then we're all just... And another speck and another another speck and dust, another uh, uh, a dust in the wind. Yeah, like who and are we as human beings? Like if we can't just lift each other up instead of putting each other down, what does that make exactly. us as a society? Like exactly. Yeah, you got to be better towards each other and understanding and forgive and forget and learn how to live through life and put yourself in other people's shoes. It's that simple in life. We, forgive and forget, man. We all go through the shit, and I'm not saying forget it because you'll never forget well, yeah, something yeah. that's happened. Yeah, to you. something traumatic can you really fuck you up, but, but you got to learn to balance with it. That's that shit that will make you want to get up the next day and make you want stronger. To, yeah, exactly. Yeah, tougher and harder, and, and you go through life and look and appreciate it more yeah. as you succeed through it with simplistic things of just having breath in your lungs and yes. getting to go out here and perform in front of people and having them cheer your name and just. I look yeah. forward to just cheering your name. Dude. I love it. That's the simplest way you can say it, is just love and love and understanding and appreciation for all the stuff. And I adore you, man. And I adore everybody that's here. Like Matt is holding this building. You know how tough he's had it. Him and Chrissy, oh, they've had God. it tough here, man. We know that, man. I go through so much Seriously, shit, man. It's tough, dude. And I fucking love and appreciate you and all you guys, man. I love you too, dude. I Thank do. You. I Thank really you do. It's not just the booze talking because I'm not drunk yet. Because yeah, I wish I was sober. He's been uh, long. Yeah, it's been, <laughs> I, I was sleeping on the lawn been. a couple weeks ago. Yes, but yes, but I just had Can't surgery. I had my implantable now. defibrillator yeah. place. But I had the, uh, I guess all the apparent the, uh, what's the stuff they put you under? What is it? Fucking? Anesthesia. Anesthesia. Yeah. Apparently it's only 24 hours. But I said if you drink on top of it after three days, I came here after three days. I wasn't about to miss that money make that show. I fell asleep on the fucking lawn. I mean, I mean, same with us too. Like we we go through so much shit just in our actual personal lives that sometimes it's hard to get up and it's hard to come to shows and and play and put on that persona that we do to everyone put on the character you but, guys do man but honestly it's it's those times where we can get up and we can go and do these things even even some of us may may stay home because that's how they deal with it and that's okay too but the this, fact, this, kid, he doesn't, sorry, <laughs> this kid he doesn't even know see and, and the fact that everyone's having fun yeah, everyone's having fun everyone's, fun, everyone's, fun, everyone's exactly. living and enjoying life that's beautiful oh, and that, that's something that I think this was really good I hope this came out good when we watch it later Dude, I'll send you the yeah. link man I appreciate you we all appreciate you so much everybody here man Dude. and, and I, I'm, I mean this shit 100% I know you do, everyone man. you're humble you're fucking kind you're real dude you ain't <laughs> And there's no reason to be fake about this crap. We got this this whole cops monitoring thing over here, which is always fun to like joke around. Like cops monitoring. <laughs> 
Well, I have one video of people out here smoking weed in front of me and they're just doing the whole thing. But it's like we're just out here having a good time. And wrestling is supposed to be fun. You get to have the fans uh, take away from the norm normalcy of life. And not only just us, I think you guys do too. You guys are like, hey, we got there and get to be this character we pers pursue. And just even sometimes your real self, you guys just got there and enjoy yourselves. Exactly. But, but you bleed for our entertainment. And I know that's yeah, tough for you guys. Because anytime anybody bleeds, like it, it's tough. It, it's not fun. We're, we're any, Anyone who is in this business and has done the stuff that, that I do, uh, or stuff that anyone does, Matt or anything like that, like the, the stuff that we go through, we, we, we enjoy and we definitely appreciate everyone's love and, uh, and camaraderie coming to the show. And, and, and yeah, you're, you're putting your shit on the side to suspend disbelief for just the few hours or several hours that you're with each other and just having that that moment of where we're all on the same page and we're all uh doing this for one certain reason and that's because we love this shit exactly it's uh, and again fun. It's that's butchered but also that's the shit that fucking means means a lot the world and a lot to me but also when i come out there i like i do like a little establishing shot of you guys all staying out there it's like sometimes i just want to go to every single one and say hey i love you and i appreciate you guys so oh, much dude. and i want you guys to be safe always but also just have fun and make us oh, entertained dude, fuck yeah i fucking love it dude i love you dude i love you dude take it easy you too man <laughs> man that was best dude that was so good oh god i love this man hey kid what are you doing out here devil boy Get out of here! <laughs> hey, Michael, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, Emma, how'd you wait? Did you do commentary tonight? No, I just busted into that one announcement. Oh, I love you, Emma. Uh, yeah. I love you, Michael. Leave. Yes, I gotta go home. He has to go home. Yes. He's gonna sleep in my bed tonight, man. No. Oh, Swizzle. Oh, who this guy? Who this guy? Hold on. Don't do that. What? Well, Don't you talk. You put me down. I put... This, man, this, man, this man did the announcements. Oh, he's killing it. He's traveling worldwide. No, he did he the living the fucking dream. I'm jealous. For him, personally. Oh, yeah, oh. For my reception. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For the oh. wedding party. Crush it. Well, my battery's about to die. Say I love you and go fuck yourself, TJ. Right. I love you and go fuck yourself, TJ. Thank you. All right. I will. I can't wait to go home and whack, whack, whack. It's uh, it's gray short season, but I'm in uh, gray you jean look, shorts. TJ, <laughs> TJ, why do you look so skinny, dude? You look like 20 year old TJ. Well, I haven't worked out in months, but wait no, till I get back no, to that. TJ, it. TJ looks like it's all this beer I've been not drinking. <laughs> as as you drink a beer. Well, it's about to shut off. So say goodbye and go fuck yourself. We're gonna go watch the Mayweather fight. Fuck Mayweather. <laughs> From a car accident. All right, here's here's my uh, new videographer. He's about to go shoot video, and he's probably gonna get beat up. There you go. You go in there. Just start shooting random. It's on record. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Kurt. It's not even on. Come on. Hi, buddy. Is he drunk again? No, he stole it. Oh, okay. Uh. How you doing? I stole TJ's camera. I'm going backstage to see who's here. Oh, yeah. How are you feeling, Duckling, right? Let me well, guess, TJ's fucked up right now, so you got his camera. <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> yeah, he just took it. He's not fucked up. Oh, he's not sleeping? No, no, no. So how are you feeling after your match? My ass cheek hurts. TJ knows already. TJ pulled, TJ's actually was filming when I pulled out the first piece. Thank God he wasn't there for the fucking second one. Yeah, that's what I heard. He literally, he was like, he caught the first one. Perfectly. The second one, thank God. They had my shit spread all over the front. How you doing, yeah. Mr. Earl Gardner? I'm sure you'll be able to. Mr. Grayson? I'll be able to make that work. Maybe. How you doing, Mr. MLJ? Oh, hi. I'm about to leave, though. So it's going to be bye. Hi, TJ. Oh, look oh, Look at the chance of me walking around. I went to go grab my cup. It's over here. You wipe the sully poop off of your shoes, your hoops? How do you turn this on? Do you want it off? Yeah. Off. Huh.
Matt, I was out here. There's this one guy. He's got glasses and a baseball cap. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Gary. But Matt, there was a guy here with a baseball cap and glasses. I'm going to keep this for later. And he was beating up people out here. And he kind of looks like this <laughs> guy over here. He's smoking a cigarette. He might have been Gary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gary, how, how'd the vibe go tonight, man? How'd the what? Did you feel me squeeze your butt? Or I did. Yeah, did, did you like it? Uh, no. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it either, but I had to do it. <laughs> I can't believe you found the butt. I don't have an ass. <laughs> what match was it when I squeezed your tushy? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't either. It's not important. It's not important. The important, the important part is that you grabbed my ass and you found my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's the important yeah. part. We love you, Gary. We love you so much, man. I had to do it. I was just like, you're sitting there, you're just sitting there, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See yeah. this. Uh, <laughs> we love you, Gary. What do you think about Matt? Matt's face here? <laughs> Is he beautiful or at what? Least his, at least his cheek is healed up really nice. <laughs> that scar looks good though from what you went through, man. It Apparently does, Matt. 50 in prison. This one's cold. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Snitches get it. I ain't snitching nobody. Big Joe just fucked me up. <laughs> snitches get stitches. Now look, it doesn't look bad though, It actually though, do look really good. Yeah. I like it. I like it. As soon as I, when I rolled out of the ring after I, I got cut and put the hangers in my mouth, I'm down like this. Big Joe walks around. He's just like, you're fucking leaking, mate. I'm like, I know. You should be like, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> fucking wanker. One to one. He's done before and none to come. <laughs> Matt, you handle it better than anybody, man. You tough son of a bitch, man. We know it, man. That's right. Sorry, we love you. Promo. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I love you, buddy. I don't know who's tougher. Is it Gary or Matt that's tougher? Oh, Gary. He's been doing way longer than me. Yeah, yeah I agree, it's man. This man, Phil Bruno San Martino. Yeah! <laughs> I did film oh shit, no good. Never <laughs> <go. Very laughs> Gary seen more shit than any of us, so much respect. Gary! 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 You looking for another burger? <laughs> Love you. Guys. All right, let me cut this promo real fast. Wait, what's up with your asshole? Is it on? Yeah. My asshole? Yeah, do you got any glass in there? Like Declan? Yeah. Declan had a lot of glass in his asshole. Let's just say there's a cocaine tray, pixie dust. On both cheeks. All right, I got glass everywhere, dog, and I mean everywhere. This shit is everywhere. Are you are you going to sell it though later? Because there's a lot of fans on the internet that would love to get some of that Declan glass ass though. You know what I mean? I'm not sorry, Declan. I'm sorry, Duncan. I apologize because I get confused with the Declan, the Duncan. You all doing the same shit. You guys yeah. got your assholes bleeding tonight. That's what no. I'm I was thinking about just scraping it off my ass. And like using it to sauce some spaghetti. You know what I mean? You know, it's it's probably right, nice. Let's go pan back to that spot right now where he was getting his ass slammed into that fucking shit over there and he was like, get out of my fucking way. I was like, okay, I'm trying. Bam, bam, I was getting hit. I was like, oh shit, I felt it. And you're like, my asshole. And I was like, oh crap. <laughs> yeah, it was a really fucked up two minutes. It was a beautiful moment in wrestling history. Shawnee, what do you what, what? glad I wrapped it. Right. Nice butt. Yeah, he and just, show us that ass. He's going to do it too. That's the crazy part. Yeah, that boy, oh, a, per that boy oh, a pervert. Oh, Why you hang out with him? I don't know. He a fucking pervert. <laughs> per <laughs> Perverts are funny, man. <laughs> I honestly don't know what I'm even saying. It's just fun. But we had a blast tonight. You killed it, man. You impressed me more and more. Mm -hmm. And you're superior over there. That, that dude over there? Yeah, man. First death match ever, man. Just yeah, dude. You're doing your thing, man. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Doing it. Where's all this light coming? We got spaceships. Oh, we got. I know. Now you can actually see my face. Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> I see your black ass, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, kid, man. You keep, you keep doing your thing. Don't ever give up, man. That's, of course, That's baby. the thing. Just keep grinding. Keep going. It's the only thing we can do. And as long as you're enjoying it, that's all that fucking matters, man. Yeah. When you stop enjoying it, that's when you got to walk away. Yeah. But I don't think you're ever going to stop enjoying it. You love this shit. You know I love it. You can see it in Who's office. this motherfucker? He the whitest motherfucker I know, man. Honestly, this man. He was like if me and you had sex and had him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> actually, I'll take it. <laughs> it's better than what actually happened. So, oh Jesus, damn! I'm sad. I actually just thought about it for a couple seconds. It feels disgusting. Man, <laughs> we some fucked up individual. I didn't say that. You said that shit. <laughs> you was thinking it though. You was thinking it. 
I wasn't sure, you know what I mean? All right, I'm going to get out of here. Back to school. Back to school. <laughs> I love you, man. Yeah, hey, it's all good. Hey, I just found this man here. Who are you, sir? I'm Steve. I'm Hi, Steve. With these guys, all bunch I know of I saw you recently <laughs> at GCW, but back in the day, we were bringing up stories to Tommy. And he is a old school CZW, baby! But the last time that I hung out with this man real hardcore, we were partying, drinking, doing our thing. This man threw up all over the backseat of my car, <laughs> all out the window. I was like, man, I'm gonna get a DW motherfucking eye. He's like, blue lord! We're in the pennant. <laughs> what trash Wednesdays? Dude? Outside what the water tower. What trash Wednesdays? Fucking quarter drinks, 50 cent drinks, 75 cents. Oh, drink. yeah, they were like, that's what we call yeah, it. Yeah, it all was started it. Yeah. The technical name was Beat the Fucking Clock, right? Yeah, it was Beat the Fucking Clock. Yes, yeah, you remember. Beat the Fucking Clock, they kicked the doors. 25 cent drink. But we went to, uh, what was it, the, the tower there where we're like Moxley. It was like, I don't know if it was that night or one of the ones. We went there before. I don't know. But no, that, it's usually we hit the pennant and close that shit down and then go after party at Adelphia's and then get kicked the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there. Adelphia was more like like Italian. Like, yeah, they yeah, didn't like us because we wore bandanas. And yeah, they're like, and man, like, you know what I mean? The, the, there was beautiful shit, Italian women and Hispanic <laughs> women. They're like, man, we ain't dating the fucking the white boys there. They're like, nah, y'all poor. They're like, <laughs> will you buy me we a drink? We did the sound for Adelphia's and they still kicked us the fuck out there like oh yo you can't be here <laughs> we're the ones making the fucking but i'm glad you remember uh, I'm, I'm just glad board. that he remembers that because yeah, i yeah. will never forget that because i had to stay sober you're, to make sure this motherfucker got home first or last corner like <laughs> Steve, I fucking love you. I'm just glad you're here, dude. It's dude, so dude, nice bro. to see you. And just to see you here, here at A-Show, it's like the continuous relapse of this, wrestling. This, this is a, this is old school all the yeah. way here. Yeah. I love this Matt's place. Reunion. The men, yeah, the men that keep Mo the wrestlers safe. Mo was here earlier, Yeah, too. don't forget Mo and Shawnee. Early. Mo and Shawnee were both here today. Ah, well, yeah. fuck Shawnee. He drinks all my booze now. <laughs> I mean, I drank it all, and I just gave him a sip. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, Shawnee, you back here? No. Sip, no. He was. Uh, no, I love Shawnee. Sleeping in his chair. I love Shawnee. But who's the other guy that was here? He's the one I didn't know. Uh, who. Mo. No, I. I maybe. You never met Mo. He man, was, my man, my he was mind. The original is. CZW guy with Zandig. Yes, I remembered his face, but I, I don't think I ever got to socialize with him. That's the thing. Yeah, he, but I he saw he him was walk a up. Socialized kind of guy. He didn't talk a lot. He keeps to himself. Because I saw him walk up and you guys were like, hey, it's a Ryu. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, I yeah. love it. Dude, I just love seeing you guys. So. Look at this. Look at this big ass kid over here. Kid. <laughs> you are, you're yeah, still a kid yeah. to, you know you're a kid to them. I'm a kid to them. Gene's only, Gene just turned 40, so I mean. Yeah. <laughs> That's when I started. <laughs> I'm sure who's older, Mowers or Eugene. I don't know. I was wondering that tonight too, actually. Well, you know who Mo's son-in-law is, right? Yeah, do you know who Mo's son-in-law is? No. The one, the only, Lobo. Oh, shit. Yeah. We went I to did, his wedding. We went to I his did wedding. not know that. Lobo. How's Lobo doing? He's okay. He's doing good. Yeah. But, yeah. Is he going to come around and do a, a whole... I, 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 I can't <laughs> answer the for him. Gods we keep one. asking him. You never know, man. To. I mean, with GCW, how big they become, you never know. Like, they get I'd names love, come around. I'd love to see him come. Wouldn't you GCW. love to see Lobo just pop up and just say yes. autographs I, and hang I, out? I, absolutely. I, I, yeah, we would love to see it. Yeah, man. We would love to see people. Next thing you know, you got Lobo and Sick Nick Mondo going in there. Who the fuck knows? Dude, yeah, we I love know. Nick. Sick Nick Mondo's around. He's he's doing That's art. Cool, he's doing yeah. movies and oh, stuff. He's, he's really good at what he yeah, does, he man. Yeah, he's yeah, he doesn't have to go jump off a build or have Zandig do suplexes <laughs> on off of buildings or side slams or whatever. Yeah, he doesn't have to die anymore in the yeah. ring or outside the ring off of buildings. Let's just say we we were around some of the craziest shit, and we appreciate all those men and women that did that. Oh my God, it was the craziest. I, I crap. saw the craziest shit I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, dude. And then it all came back when Joey, Janella, and Zandig went off the roof, like probably about this high. It was just like, probably. what the yeah, fuck? I bet it was. Like, why would you I do that? Did. And then Zandig was standing on the gutter like that, and it started doing that whole crack sound. It was a double roof. But you remember, you remember, you remember the footage of, of uh, and how, and it's like Zandig was standing there with Joey, and all of a sudden he was standing remember on the, the edge. Footage, of, I was there. I was yeah, standing me too, but the like bit. you heard the gut of the crack. It was like, it was like, oh my god, if that would have snapped. They were two by twelve. They were. The idea to go into the back of the truck was the worst idea I've ever seen. Oh, I know. I don't know how he thought that was a good idea. He had the rails up still. 
I don't know how they didn't hit a rail. Well, Joey wasn't the first choice. <laughs> I understand what happened. I was there. I That's why I respect Janelle as much as he's a crazy motherfucker and obnoxious dude. I love him because he went and he was like, I'll do it. I was like, okay, you crazy fucker. And, 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 and it was not a good idea, like I said. No, it was not. And the craziest thing about it is, Joey... The only thing he did was in that fucking spot, a last grade is slow. That's the that's the Luckily, it could have been worse. It could have been a it could have been a broken egg. That he could have done. Zandig broke his back. Zandig still Zandig still painting for today, and that's why John is not around here because his back hurts. I run into John once in a blue moon. It was probably. Uh, about a year after he did that spot with uh, Janella at Walmart, and he's with his sons, and I'm just like, hey! Oh, he's still limping. Yeah. John is a tough one. He's on a whole level, dude. John Zandig is on a whole level. Like any more. I think he's got one more. I, wait, I agree, he's got one more. I agree, one more. Who's got one more? John Zandig. He's got one more in him. I don't think he does. I think he's got one more in I don't think he does. I think they should be... I don't... I feel like it's going to come to the point, as much as... I don't want to say this, but I feel like Rob Black's going to pay him a lot of money. He's going to go over and I wrestle on it. Mm. Or, or Lauderdale. <laughs> or Lauderdale. But no, I think I Rob Black will pay him first. He's going to get... I don't see it. I don't, if he does, I don't think it'll be with him. At least I hope not, honestly. All I know is I want to see John still survive and do his thing. I don't want to see John get hurt because you know, John John's is already hurt. John is fe I know his back is fucked. John is fearless. Dude, he's fearless but broken. Yeah, I know. I seen him at Walmart a couple times. He man is hobbling. He's a good man, well, but he he's doesn't do it from California, sure. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, you're looking at some of the original people here. They were the main staff here helping the weapons are here and. There's cake if you guys want. Ooh, cake. Guys, get your cake. <laughs> eat it, too. Thank you, Chrissy. Go get some. Ah, get Jean your cake and eat, eat it, too. Cake and put it in that beard. You and know then. that's not the saying. No. <laughs> the saying is, he wants Katie and Edith, too. What? That's the actual saying. It's well, not have your cake and eat it, too. Where did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> he wanted Kate, Katie and Edith, too, is the actual saying. She's so right. People not being able to say it right. Because that term so means no sense. Have cake and eat it, too. It makes no, right? But yeah. the other cool thing I found out when we had the yesterday and I had the have the funeral for my grandma. Oh, I she, didn't, it's no, fine. Sorry. It's fine. She's 99 years old. Right. She was born in 1923. Right. Sliced bread was not invented until 1928. She had five <laughs> years on sliced fucking bread. Wow. And I think that's a really cool fucking fact. That is cool. <laughs> she was 99 years old, dressed herself, bathed herself, went to the bathroom herself. She did everything her damn self. And my dad said two months ago on her birthday, he would have had no doubt she would have made it to 100. Wow. But it just went something. Her bowels got to Yeah, my, my dad made it to what, 89? 99 is she beautiful. 99 is a good age ago. In 2014, ago. <laughs> she went and planned out her whole funeral from top to bottom, including the songs at church. She's She's been telling me, she's like, I'm ready. Get me the, out of here. Well, I get that. But 2014, but 99, I get that. 2014, she went and planned everything Think out. about this. Think about everything she's seen from when she was a little kid to now. And my grandfather oh. died in 1998, so she's been by herself from 1998. Wow. She yeah, gee, 100 years, like, think about it, like, 90 years. Holy crap, what she's seen. Holy that's crap. What, that's what I'm saying. Years. That's a lot. 99 years is a, I mean, that's, that's everything. That's, that's before that. World War II. Like, <clears throat> holy crap, yeah. dude. That's beautiful. And she's, her parents were straight off the boat from Italy. Her maiden last name is Capone. Wow. I am related to Al. Oh, oh, we got a Capone. <laughs> We're distant cousins. Yeah. We trailed it back and we went to Alcatraz. That's cool. And we did the audio tour. And my dad, it was me, my dad, my mom, my sister, my brother. And we get to Al Capone's cell, and my dad goes, Oh, my cousin's cell. Everybody in our group took like three steps back. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that is cool. But the fact that she was older than sliced bread, I think, is one of the things. That, that, that is the final. Not I've even like all the shit she's there. seen and all the shit she lived through. Yeah. The fact that she was older than sliced bread, I think, trumps everything. <laughs> to me. That's <laughs> awesome. That is really cool. I God, I wish that's, I could live to be 99 years story. old. No, the fuck you do. I don't want to be that old. Why not? I'm me, me beat up, tired, sore every fucking day. I don't want to be 99 years old. I don't want to hear that. You got all that pussy saved in your beard, fluffing it in there, and you got the flavor saver in there, man. That's the most giant flavor saver I've ever I'm seen. I'm an old man. 
There's so much fire. pussy in that beard. <laughs> I jam a foster pot. But there's so much pussy in that beard, man. I can smell it from here. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Love you too. Well, he busted balls, but you gotta drive home with the windows down. All <laughs> right. Is that how much pussy you guys got to drive? That? Damn. You hear that, Tom? Tom, you got. Damn. There's so much pussy in Gene's beard. And Tom, you gotta drive home with the windows down because it smells that good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call quits here. Yeah. Good idea. Cheers. Cheers. Woo. Cheers, Gene. Cheers. I love you, baby. Love you too. I'll see you the next one. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna go out in the woods and masturbate the aliens. I'll see y'all later. Zero. Out here with Big Red, rip him with the ass. <laughs> yeah, rip him with the ass and the stars. <laughs> Is that the dance you do before you rip ass? Come back. Uh, Why'd you do it? What? What? <laughs> GG, I need a lighter. Can you light my smoke for me, bro? He gonna rip ass. Drink some boost. What the fuck is going on over here? Wait, wait, what the fuck? Wait, do, do that, that again. again. Do it again. What? Do that again. Do, do a flip. Oh, my God. oh man. Oh, oh shit. Man, you need to let my. I need a. I need a cigarette after that shit. I need drugs. <laughs> so. What the fuck is going on? Shit. What the fuck is going on with y'all H.O. wrestling suits? I don't know. Big Red's a wild man. You stay away from those kids, man. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm not here with them. Man, they're all fucking asses. Yeah. Ayahuasca. And fucking uh, the goddamn toads out here. They're licking toads. Yeah. That's Big Red game. licks all the toads out here. Oh, yeah, he licked toad. He don't lick pussy, he licked toads. Yeah. Maybe exactly. he licked some dick. I don't know. Man, I love that boy, but man, he's not licking man. toads and dicks. Or you can lick my dick, Red. I love you, but I'm just joking around. I love you, man. Yeah, come on, it's sweatpants season, man. Big. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah Red. Hey, man, you fire. <laughs> big Red, what you know about gray sweatpants season? Oh, you look. Oh, you know you got you packing heat, son. You packing heat. You got a. <laughs> you packing nine inches of dick dang down. I love you for that. I'm gonna hook you up with my my old lady. I help you help me. I love you. Town, town. <laughs> On the meat wagon. Jesus <laughs> fuck, bro. Red, care, care, care. Care, I'm only kidding. <laughs> you know I'm only joking. I'm I know you're joking, bro. No, I'm only kidding. It makes no sense what I just said. <laughs> But anyway, we pack it. This yo. motherfucker saying on the meat wagon. Man, he's, he's over here. Them pounds this man's over here. Jesus, fuck. There ain't no cure for cross-eyed. Who's <laughs> 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 <Just> cross-eyed? <laughs> yeah. You all. Do it. Do a cross-eyed. Show me. I know. Show me a cross-eyed. I'm not drunk. Man, I'll cross-eyed myself, man. I'll do it. Wait, I'll do it for you. Trust me. It's, a, it's like a professional thing for you. What? Motherfucker. <laughs> So, interview. You, you remember when you had the uh, the the baseball bat? It was like a like a, uh, a Nerf bat with the base. Uh, the barbed wire was wrapped around it very poorly. I know where this is going. Okay. So when you when you when you swung. Get closer to them. I can't see. You. You're, you're too far away. Okay. So when you swung it, <laughs> and it went into the crowd. Do you remember that? I do. You know who it hit? Did it hit you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> it split his face so when he was bleeding. It's I so fucking cut, funny. Dude. Did it split you? Yeah. Yeah, he was bleeding cut, all. It was dude, so funny, funny, dude. It was the funniest dude, fucking, fucking shit fucking, ever. I said, dude. Matt, I said to Matt, I said, you got super glue? <laughs> I didn't give a fuck, dude. But I literally, I went to the, over here. Yes. And there was a girl in the crowd. And she's like, I'm an, EM, I'm an EMT. No, I, I can so they, they, she's just fucking, you know, cat. I was fine. Of course. So literally, course. I was I was right here in the right corner. Here. I was in the corner, and you went. You I went remember the his the let off. Yeah. I, I said it to Raw as soon as he grabbed me. I was like, well, that definitely hit yeah. somebody. Oh, yeah, dude. It fucking flew. Yeah, it hit me. Oh, you got to use this thing. Don't apologize. Yeah, but it wasn't that. There was another guy that was with, around like him. It wasn't was his friend. Guy. He got hit so hard in the face, his face was split all over the place. My, he was like, mm. I was bleeding. This other dude, this other dude, like, it, it, it hit him. But, like, he was, like, fucking, he was being a pussy about it. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. But he was yeah. still in good spirit, but he was kind of like, ugh, my face. He was, was like, cut, ugh. He was cut a little bit. Hence, as he's saying this, I have this all on video aftermath of it. I was like, that's cool that you're being good spirit about it. Yeah. <laughs> Does this guy follow your channel? No. 
No. No. no. This won't be posted anyway. No, no, no. Won't post this ten years from now, Joe. Well then, guy, kiss my ass. I had two fucking pieces of glass in my ass, and you'll see me complaining about it. Yeah, man, you want to? You benefit you. You came. You came. And you were entertained, damn it. Fucking yeah, barbar man. hit me, and I fucking, I fucking no sold the shit out of it, bro. I'm telling you, Matt fucking came out to me. I was fucking leak. I, I didn't give a fuck. I, I knew it flew, and I remember Rose grabbed me. I was like, that definitely fucking hurt somebody. What a way to blow that spot. <laughs> Uh, Literally, it but it was the one guy. He was just like, "Oh shit!" And I was like, "Are you good?" And he was like, "Yeah, I'm good." But he's like, "My face hurts." You know I have this cool, all on video somewhere. It was so, so fucking, fucking funny. I had dude. you in the uh, I had you in the pool though to win the fucking tournament. So you were we had, one, I think you were probably the only one that had me win it. So, <laughs> so uh, it we had, I had you in a pool to win the fucking tournament. So you want me money? Thank you. <laughs> good for you. I hope, <laughs> you, <laughs> I hope you fucking bitch slapped everybody. That ticket. It was like I fucking told you this. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm not bringing that up to start any bullshit. It's yes, just, he is. He's trying to fight you. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Now he, you know what I mean. He's like the spirit. He's a the the local, you know, kind of like city boy. But he's, you know, around here. But like he, yeah, he he don't give a fuck. He's just standing in the crowd with everybody as well. I'm familiar with everyone's faces. Honestly, what's funny? I'm sorry again. I'm no, gonna, dude, I'm gonna say right. sorry. Oh, that's, that's, honestly, sorry. what's crazy is this man. This man, no you look exactly like my brother-in-law, which is crazy. He's a handsome fucking fellow. He does. He does. Good for you. The Irish. <laughs> like I said, no. So, like I said, but no. I, I, I'm not bringing that up to any malicious, you know, just or whatever. But like I said, man, it was. Uh, <laughs> All right, we'll hug it out and hug his. He had glass in his asshole. Yeah. I want to drink more and I want to enjoy yeah. my stupidity. Hey, and, hey, hey, it's all good, man. You are, you are your fungal, fungal. I fucking love you all. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> yourself, <laughs> man. Like yeah, don't give me that shit. You still got that it's crooked fucking, fucking TV oh. hanging in the fucking oh. hallway out there. Oh. Don't listen, give me that listen, shit. Listen, keep your fucking shirt on. Right? Hey, you touch me again, I'm going to cut your fucking heart with a butter knife. You understand me? You know, right. stop getting fucking I'm gonna put the lady. camera down. This hey, lady, stop. Like, hey, you don't you're you talking, tell me what to do. You're talking to my guy all wrong. This is my man here, but hey, he got tell TVs hanging talk, crooked like his dick. Him, I don't want to hear this. You're talking to my guy all wrong. <laughs> Right, you do it I'm again. You do it again. You do it again. The block going into the fucking I'll river. I'm size 15. That's goddamn right, size 15 fucking, shoe because I got a big old flippers. floppy dunk of dick. And then wait till I put that gray sweatpants on there. It's fucking people. Fucking scuba Steve feet <laughs> over there. Hey, 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 back off you too. Hey, hey I'm out. I'll, hey. I'll stab you in the face with a fucking soldering iron. You talking my guy all wrong, man. All right, all right. I don't know. I'm out. I'm going to go pee in the woods and go, you know. Go fucking. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah, yo, fuck you, yo, fungal. Nah, he's too old. I'm about to walk in there. Cake. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. I'd like a drink cake. Give me the finger. Never. What? Oh, you're so well mannered. Your mom taught you well. <laughs> Come on, buddy, give me the finger. <laughs> I mean the pinky. Give me the pinky. Like, you know like uh, Austin Powers where he's like, I like gold. <laughs> I love busting your, your son's balls here, Dawn. <laughs> Anthony, you're a good kid, man. I like gold. <laughs> Be nice to your mom. Kick your butt. No hog boy. This man right here, though. I gotta go. You are my favorite. At least I'm somebody. I'm sorry, guys. I'm being an idiot here. He's no. got a cut on his butt. <laughs> I love you. I do. I love you, kid. Get that belt back. Stop letting everybody walk over you. I'm do. Hey, you'll fuck that shit the fuck up, man. Make sure that TV's straight, though. Oh, well, I love that video that we had. Yeah, you know what I mean. Hey, I know. Where you want from? You're right though, because it was like supposed to be that way. My eyes are crossed. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. You city. know, you know, fuck. I'm gonna go back home, watch the fucking Mayweather fight with my boy. You know, he gonna pass out on the goddamn garage floor. I'm gonna get shit faced and enjoy myself. If you wanna come by, you just free tonight. You come by, you come hang out with me.
<laughs> I think if I get in my car, I'm going to fuck home, parking that bitch in the street again, and going to bed. Yeah, you going to masturbate in your car, Joe. I know you're good at that. I love you. I don't you. even think I can fucking do that. I got cuts on my hands and shit. I know. Let's All right, anybody it. wants to buy some glass that was in, in a Declan Grant's ass? There's the ass glass. Yo, fifty dollars, man. This was actually bigger. It fell on the floor. Wait, how much? How much you selling these for? I don't know. What sick fuck wants to throw me some? Money? I don't know. Forty nine ninety five. We'll start the bidding in three digits and we'll work from there. Let's go. Forty nine ninety five. We'll, we'll start a Facebook fucking live for the uh, you know Declan Grant here. Let's go. So Everybody's sure. doing wrestling live merchandise. Let's just do a Declan Grant asshole glass live. I'll make this deal. You buy these pieces of glass for, we'll say, like $100. I'll give you my shorts for free. All right. Mom, see, that's, that's a fucking deal, baby. The birds play at one tomorrow. You want to come by? Let's go get all fucked up and watch it. We'll sell it on that shit. Go bites. Go bites. Hey, go. At me. Look at this man. God damn, he's handsome. Boxy's Another just as rigged as wrestling. Made, uh, like <laughs> Who did you go with the ring tonight, though? That well, yo, that girl uh, kicked your fucking and ass, though, butter. Yeah. Was she fuck yeah. What was she do to your face? Really Hit me across the jaw. No, like, you were there. Gross. Nah, I was, was there with the video camera in my head and my I brain. I was just like. I was not quite there. I can smell it on his breath. Or it smells like the whiskey the dick. Had an I do. I appreciate you so much. I'm, like, I'm just being stupid, right. but I appreciate no you and Kennedy so much. Yeah. You guys, you kind of be safe. You got to spend the night here and party all night? What? Yeah, I'll be here until she, Monday. Like, right. oh, Make sure Matt Truman gets his scar healed up because that shit is looking as rough as that thing on this. Yeah, my forehead cut. I got a buck 50 right here. Yeah. I love you, buddy. I love you. You take care of yourself. All right, I'm gonna go drink more. <laughs> All right, so I'm back home now. Uh, my one buddy, I just put him up in my bedroom here now. Uh, he's doing his thing. He's like, oh, I was like, do you want the bedroom open for the cats? Because the cats will crawl over you. The hairless one, especially. He's like, go leave it open because he's a big cat guy. Um, but anyway, uh, HO Hustlemania 5 is beautiful. They all night, like. I mean it though, man. Everybody here, like I, like I said, man. I think some of the fans forget sometimes. It's like, we're all just regular human beings. You should be up in that fucking ring doing like spins, like dance, like. <laughs> like you should be appreciating what they do for us, for entertainment, as social media brings us with them as friends on there. And just to see what they go through on the regular and here in depression. Uh, from some of the toughest men and women here, it, it, it breaks my heart. It does. It's really fucking tough for it, you tell you. As I'm trying to get to your eyes, I'm a fucking friend to bed, and he's upset. It's like, it's fucking tough. Everybody's going through things, man. And it really just comes down to financial situations where nobody can afford to live today. <laughs> what is it today? What is it? What are we doing wrong? Are we doing something wrong? I don't know. No, it just comes down to corporate greed and everything else. So, yeah, it, I'm just gonna watch the videos and stuff I shot tonight and just uh, try to enjoy myself on my, on my own by myself in this beautiful garage where we recycle our trash. Like, we got this beautiful uh, invitation to the local political community, and so I was like, ah. My son started hanging out. I was like, nah, buddy, you don't wanna hang those up. It's pictures of like the politicians, the local township. They're all corrupt, by the way. I've been researching them. Like, now they're trash. I was like, here, buddy, and he walked over. He's like, I was like, put it in the trash. I was like, actually, you should recycle them. Oh, wait, no, don't recycle them because we don't want to do this because that's what the system is. It's like a recycling bin. The same politician bullshit like, that we've been living in America for fucking God knows how long. I don't know. I'm just right along. Anyway, I don't give a fuck about that crap. Money, power, respect. It's more about love, hugs, and fucking just friendship. I don't care about money, whatever. But as much as I'm trying to hold it together today in my life for my kids, I'm trying to hold it together for their mother and just friends of mine, <laughs> I will. And a lot of you guys that wrestle for us, the men and women too, I will try my best to hold it together. And I appreciate the fuck out of all y'all because you made my, my night so good. Like really did. 
And I meant that when I was talking to her. I really mean it. You guys are fucking awesome. Don't ever fucking let anybody die. You don't doubt yourself. You can't afford your bills? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just get a big, giant ass fucking tent and all live in that. <laughs> and a van down by the river. But anyway, I'm gonna watch this shit and I'm gonna go on. But he's up there. He's got my hairless cat starting skirt him under. He's like climbing on him. He's like, this is the best night ever. I was like, yeah, he's a beautiful cat. He's awesome. But you wanna clean up all this piss and shit that he does all the hallway? <laughs> I don't know. Just saying, just thank you, H2O. Thank you for Dash Mac Wrestling Community. Thank you, all, everybody. Hopefully, the video I shot tonight came out fun. It's about fun and everything. <sighs> Alright, let me watch this. Goodbye. Stop judging, start loving, accept of this with our eyes. Be yourself. And, uh, I don't know. Meowch. Can we just uh, all get along? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so happy that I have this whole full cooler full of alcohol. Yeah, whoa. And I actually kind of balance myself tonight for my buddy because I want to make sure he's okay. At least make sure we get him okay. <laughs> I'm not even drunk. This is the least drunk I've been there in a long time. And Matt and Chrissy can say, like, Man, TJ actually left here and he didn't fall asleep in the lawn. It was a one-time thing after my surgery, okay? Well, anesthesia. But no, I literally, I'm fine. Got the Eagles game tomorrow, one to four. I'm looking forward to enjoying my sons. They had haircuts today. They haven't had haircuts forever. And I'm so thankful that their mother brought her good friend over here to do that. And thank you, Mom, and thank you, her best friend. That was so nice of her. Like, that really meant the world to us. And she cut my hair, too. I'm beautiful. I'm a princess. <laughs> Anyway, just all right, let me watch this. Let's go. Y'all need to love life for what it is, man. And just uh, stop worrying, man. As I see y'all so much, man. I mean, I'm 40, year old, 40, 40 years old now. And most of my friends are now like 30, early 30s. And they're just like, well, I thought you were worth this. Like, uh, if I was, I wouldn't be as mature as I am, kind of. I mean, I'm an immature asshole. When one girl left the house, I was like, yeah, thanks for cutting off these three boys' hairs. And she's like, she laughed. But I was like, I don't know. Society's tough, man. Just be nice and treat people the way you want to be treated. That's the easiest way I can say it. But let me go. Let me watch this shit. Because I'm really excited to see all this footage. Maybe I'll go check out my buddy later. When when Skirtum's going. And Kitty Softball is my black case. So he's like, does a little knee thing. Like, maybe he's got two cats, too. And his wifey, too. I love you both. I hurt you both to death so much. All right, let me go.